All right, today we are going to talk about the slope formula. The objective is to be able to calculate the slope of a line using the slope formula and given two points. All right, so the first day of slope, we counted slope. We had a graph and a line, and just from those two points on the line, you would count rise and run and get your slope. In other situations, you may not have a graph with a line, so you're going to be asked to calculate slope with just two points, and you would use your formula. So that formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right. Uh, so just to recap, when you have an ordered pair, the first number is the x-coordinate, x coordinate, and then the second will be your y-coordinate. Let's go through these steps. So steps-wise, you will label the, your first ordered pair x1 and y1. Right? Pretty simple. And then the second ordered pair would be x2 and y2. And from there, you plug those x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 into your formula and solve. Okay, and again, the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so here, find the slope of a line that passes through the point 0, negative 2, and 3, 4. So I will use my slope formula write it over here y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay so I'm gonna go ahead and label my points this is my x1 this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 all right now I just plug those into my formula directly so my y2 is Four. My y1 is negative 2. So 4 minus negative 2 over my x2 is 3. So 3 minus 0 which is my x1. Okay, then you solve. 4 minus negative 2 will give you positive 6. 6 and then 3 minus 0 is 3. All right? So you get 6 over 3, simplify that. It should be 2 over 1 or just 2. So the slope of this line would be 2 over 1 or just 2. Next example, here I have a table. All right? When you have a table, each of these is an ordered pair. It's an x and a y, that's an x and a y. All right, so those are your order pairs. Okay, and so the same thing, I'm going to label my x1 and y1. So this will be, let's say this is x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, then plug it into my formula. y2 minus y1 is over x2 minus x1. Okay. So y2 is 2 minus 8. All right, y1 is 8. So 2 minus 8 over my x2 is negative 9. So negative 9 minus negative 10. Be careful with your negatives. Be careful with your signs. Just pay attention to what you're writing. So 2 minus 8 is negative 6. All right, then negative 9 minus negative 10 is really saying negative 9 plus 10 so that was going to give me a positive 1. So negative 6 over 1 is my slope or negative 6. No need for simplification on that one. Moving on, I have one more example then I have two U-tries for you guys. So I'm going to label these x1, y1, x2, y2. And then we'll plug those in. So y2 minus y1, so 8 minus 0 over x2, x2 minus x1. So negative 5 minus negative 9. Okay, 8 minus 0 is 8, and 5 minus negative 9 is positive 4. 
So I have 8 over 4, which is which simplifies to 2 over 1 or 2. So that's how you use the slope formula. Here are two for you to try, and we will discuss tomorrow.